Hi, I'm Dr. O'Donoghue from O'Donoghue Dermatology, and today I'm just demonstrating how I do a skin biopsy. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll just cleanse the area with a little alcohol pad. Uh, I'll localize the area with a little uh, gentian violet pen, a blue pen, just to mark the area and locate it for when I do take a photo. I know exactly where that lesion is. I'll then take a little bit of 1% lidocaine with epinephrine, and we'll just slowly inject this into the spot. I'll tell the patient a little pinch and some burning. And this anesthetic works very well. It's very quick acting. The epinephrine also uh, constricts blood vessels, which causes less bleeding. And that's adequate there. And then what I'll use is, is we just have a little specimen cup that I put the tissue in. It has some formaldehyde in it, which uh, keeps that tissue preserved. And then I'll take just a little scalpel here. We use a little Persona blade, which is just a, uh, a nice uh, uh, sharp scalpel. And I'll just gently take that lesion off the surface here. And I can show you here. If we turn the patient there. We just shave that right off the scalpel. Then I put that specimen in the bottle. Always labeling the bottle. And then what I'll use is just a little bit of aluminum chloride, which is a solution that just also coagulates those little blood cells. And then I'll use a handheld cautery device just to cauterize that lesion there. And then I'll place just a tiny band-aid on the spot along with just a little bit of polysporin or neosporin. And the patient's all set. So this is uh, uh, Morgan O'Donoghue from O'Donoghue Dermatology demonstrating a skin biopsy. Thank you.